Tommy Lauren is a host for Fox Nation, uh, and she uh, pretends to be conservative. I don't believe that she actually is, uh, because every once in a while, something peeks through that shows that she's kind of pretty much only doing this for money. One of those happens to be where she correctly gendered Caitlyn Jenner hmm. when uh, talking about uh, Caitlyn and her, uh, her, her campaign to unseat Gavin Newsom or to replace Gavin Newsom. Uh, so now there's a, a, just like a promo, right, where she said California is failing and Caitlyn Jenner believes it is worth fighting for. She wrote, I'll discuss my interview with her next on Fox and Friends. Hey, look at that. Tommy Lauren using the proper pronouns. Wow. Good for Tommy. No, seriously. This is this is great. Uh she's she's one step away from trans rights. Guaranteed. <laughs> so now Jenner appeared on Fox Nation earlier this week to talk about her failing campaign for governor uh, of California. Lauren wrote on Twitter that she was interviewing Jenner to get a sense of what her priorities would be. However, unfortunately, many uh, Tommy Lauren fans were not enthused by the use of proper pronouns uh, and called her out for not misgendering her on purpose. Now, look, I got a lot of problems with Caitlyn Jenner. The trans community has even more problems with Caitlyn Jenner, but her gender identity ain't one of those problems. All right. But if you read through the comments, and I'm not going to, uh, because... There's some hateful stuff. Dead naming, deeply problematic. Uh, of course, not using the correct pronouns, saying that Caitlyn Jenner has a mental disorder. Really, really despicable stuff. I'm going to save you from all that. N all this stuff has nothing to do with what Caitlyn's politics are. Which, by the way, as I, I will remind you, Caitlyn's politics are awful. And I don't agree with her on pretty much anything. But the point is that it doesn't really matter to them if you share their political positions, because it's not about that. It's never been about the positions. All right. It's about hate. It's about bigotry. It's about transphobia. It's about hating other Americans. They will never accept Caitlyn Jenner or any other trans person as one of their own. And I know that there are trans people out there who identify as conservatives, you know, who push conservative, uh, you know, uh, talking points. People like, I think, uh, what is it, Ariel, Ariela Scarcella, uh, Buck Angel, uh, just a couple of examples, Caitlyn Jenner, of course. Uh, you know, they'll sit there and, oh, we're, we're conservative, we believe in conservative positions, uh, and all this stuff. They're still not going to be accepted. Because it's not about the positions. And yes, some conservatives will get smart and use those people's identities to shield. Dave Rubin. Great example of that. Dave Rubin himself has uh, become a shield for the right wing. Oh, look at me. I'm a gay conservative. Give me lots of money and so I can run cover for Fox News, so I can run cover for anti-gay politicians. Hey, as long as you pay me six figures so I can, you know, buy a mansion uh, and, you know, live really, really well, I'll be your token gay. And that's what it is. And that's what it is you know, with a lot of these other trans people now as, uh, uh, who are conservatives. And so now for Caitlyn Jenner, this is a little bit different. Caitlyn Jenner is already rich. She's already got all the money in the world. Well, so then why would she be a conservative? Well, because she wants to save tax money. She doesn't want to pay taxes. Remember Caitlyn Jenner has been incredibly conservative her entire life before she transitioned as well. Uh, and so she wants to keep her tax money. She doesn't believe, she doesn't like poor people. She doesn't like homeless people. She likes money. And she wants to keep as much money, of, uh, of as much of her tax money uh, out of the budget of California and in her pocket as she can. And that's what it is. So she, yes, she's in it for herself, for herself uh, the whole time. And, you know, and that's really it. Uh, the focus on social issues, by the way, uh, as I've told you, the Republican Party is all about funneling money to the rich. And that's what it is. So the people like Caitlin, you know, can distract you. 
uh, or I, I'd say people on Fox News can distract you while people like Caitlin pick your pocket by not paying their fair share of taxes. So now, unfortunately for Caitlin, she's always going to be the one that's hated by the same people that she wants to dupe into letting her keep more of her money in the form of taxes. So th there's basically no good people in the story. Uh, Tommy Lauren actually comes out the best here because at least she was respectful enough to use proper pronouns. So I guess the least worst person here is, again, Tommy Lauren. Uh, but again, I don't believe that Tommy Lauren is actually uh, conservative. I've seen videos, you know, from college talking about how, you know, she, how are we going to do something about climate change, admitting that climate change is real, uh, admitting that we need government intervention, things like that. And so I believe that she is getting paid to be a conservative, and it happens so much on the right wing. Well, they will pay someone lots and lots of money to say the right things, to defend billionaires, to defend tax cuts, small government deregulation, uh, and this is just another one of those things. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.